right, good morning boys and girls. It's so good to have you this morning at Kids Zone. Uh, we are into our month of April, so get ready to learn some all new things this month as we head into that this morning. Uh, first of all, I have a question for all of you. If you are at home in your pajamas right now, I want you to raise your hand up. I know there's probably quite a few of you, so that's fun because we get to have kids on in our pajamas today. Maybe you're not in your pajamas. I got dressed up for church this morning, but maybe you have some funky slippers or socks on. So if you do, I want you to wiggle your feet. I'm going to try and lift my feet so I can show you that I am wearing my elf slippers which doesn't really fit with our season at all, but that's okay. If you're wearing some funky slippers, wiggle them in the air. And as we begin this morning, I'm just gonna pray for us. So let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Jesus, thank you so much for all of my friends and that even though we can't be together in the same room, God, we can all learn the same things about you. I just pray that you would speak to each of our hearts in a special way this morning. God, would we learn something new about you and your love for us and the ways that um, you went and died for each of us, Jesus. So would you just bless our time this morning, God? Thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, today is Palm Sunday, and we're going to talk about what that means today. But before we get started, we are going to do a little bit of an activity um, that will help us guess the theme for our morning. Okay, so what we're going to do is there's going to be some images that are going to pop up around me and I want you to count them with me and let's see how many we can count. Oh, and the other thing is these images are kind of a clue as to what we're going to be talking about. Okay, let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Today we are going to be learning about how Jesus loves us. So I want you to put your hands on your heart just like this and say it with me. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves us. Okay, so we are going to make something today that is going to help us tell our story. Okay, so I'm going to give us some instructions. I'm going to tell you what you need. And then I would like for you guys to pause the video, sit down with your parents, get them to help you make this craft because we're going to need it for the rest of our story today. Okay, so here is my craft bucket. And in my craft bucket is a few things that I'm going to need you and your moms and dads to go and get. Okay, so I need you to grab two pieces of green paper, a pair of scissors for everyone who's doing the craft, some tape or some glue if you have it, popsicle sticks, one per person, and if you don't have these, it's no big deal, and a pencil, one for everyone who's making the craft. Okay, I want you to pause the video and go get those things. All right, so now I want you guys to trace, and I know that you're good at tracing because I've seen you all do it. I want you to trace your hands on the green paper. And you know what? If you don't have green paper, that's okay. If you have white paper, you can color it. If you have pink paper or rainbow paper, we are making palm leaves this morning because that's what the people use to praise Jesus when he rode the donkey on Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday that we, today is the Sunday that we celebrate that, okay? And so I want you to trace four of your hands, okay? Now, I needed two pieces of paper to trace four of my hands, okay? But you might only need one because your hands are a little bit smaller than mine, okay? So when you trace out four of your hands, then I want you to cut them out and I want you to tape them together and you can put them on your popsicle stick 
and we are making some hosanna hands, we call them, or palm leaves for today's lesson. Okay, so pause and take a few minutes to do that, and then let's hear our Bible story today. Jesus rode on a donkey into the city of Jerusalem. The people of Jerusalem started to gather along the road. Some of the people spread their coats on the ground for the donkey to walk on. Others cut branches from the palm trees and threw them down like a welcome mat. Many waved their branches in the air. The crowds shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. The crowds followed Jesus into the city like a big parade, waving their branches and praising him. They were thankful for Jesus. Okay, I know we're in the middle of our Bible story today, but I thought it would be kind of fun to act out what we just read. So, if you guys wanted to go get a couple of blankets or towels and um, go and lay them out in your living room or in your kitchen, wherever you're at, and take some time playing um, our Bible story today, okay? So we know that there were people who had their palm, the palm leaves and they were praising Jesus. And we know that Jesus rode the donkey. So maybe you're gonna pick someone in your house uh, to be Jesus riding the donkey. Maybe you're gonna pick someone to be the donkey. Maybe you're going to pick people to praise Jesus. But I want you to take turns lying out the towels, lying out the coats and then having Jesus walk across and picturing what it would be like to yell, praise him, Hosanna, Hosanna to God in the highest. Okay, so let's take a couple minutes to play that game with our family. Thank you so much for playing that game. I hope that you guys had a lot of fun pretending to be different parts of our story today. Let's sit back down and we are going to grab out our Bibles and we are going to turn to the book of Mark, chapter 10 and chapter 14 and 15 as well. So maybe get your moms and dads to help you with that and we are going to get right back into our story. But not everyone liked Jesus. One night, Jesus and his friends, the disciples, were in a garden praying. Jesus knew the bad men were coming and he was talking to God about it. One of Jesus' disciples, Judas, was not with Jesus. He was with the bad men. They gave Judas money to show them where Jesus was so they could arrest him without the people who liked Jesus being around him. Judas led the men to where Jesus was praying. The men arrested Jesus and led him away. They took Jesus to a leader named Caiaphas. Can you say that name? Caiaphas. Caiaphas would decide if Jesus had done wrong and how he would be punished. The bad men made up lies about Jesus. They also told Caiaphas that Jesus claimed to be the Son of God. Caiaphas sent Jesus to an even more powerful judge named Pilate. Pilate asked Jesus about the lies the people were telling about him. Jesus stayed quiet. Pilate was not sure what to do, so he let the crowd make the decision. The crowd that was there was against Jesus. They put Jesus in a robe and put a crown of thorns on his head. They were dressing him up like a king to make fun of him. They did not believe Jesus was really king. They took Jesus to a hill and they nailed him to a cross. It was a very sad day. Jesus died for us to show how much he loves us. Next week, we'll find out what happened to Jesus after he died. We will learn how Jesus is the risen king. Now, you've already used your palm leaves one time to play our game at, in the middle of our Bible story. Um, but we're going to get them out again, and we're going to sing our song. Okay, so you guys have never heard this song, and I'm going to try it and sing it slowly so that we can get it. But I want you to wave your palm leaves in the air as we sing this song, okay? Now catch on. It goes something like this. 
Jesus rode a young donkey into Jerusalem. Ho, ho, Zanna, ho, ho, Zanna, ho, ho, Zanna, he is our risen king. Jesus died upon a cross, he died for you and me. Ho, ho, Zanna, ho, ho, Zanna, ho, ho, Zanna, he is our risen king. Jesus is the risen king. He rose for you and me. Ho, ho, Zanna. Ho, ho, Zanna. Ho, ho, Zanna. He is our risen king. Awesome. You guys sounded so good. I hope you were singing as beautifully and as loudly as you could. It was great to sing with you and worship Jesus together this morning. All right, boys and girls, I changed our background here to be our memory verse so you could take a peek and see what it says. Our memory verse is from Luke 24 verse 6. I just had to check sure and, and make sure that was right. Today we learned how Jesus was treated like a king. And we learned that people, they, they laid their coats down, he rode in on a donkey, and they waved palm leaves and they shouted something. Who knows what they shouted? Can you yell it out? Ready? One, two, three. Hosanna. They shouted Hosanna. But we also know that there was some people that did not see Jesus as a king. And they actually arrested him, they hurt him, and they put him on a cross to die. They didn't see Jesus as a king. Our verse today says, he is not here, but has risen. Hmm. After Jesus died on the cross, what do you think happened? I want you to tap your head if you think you know what happened. This verse actually tells us. It says he is not here, but he has risen. Jesus came back from the dead. He's alive. And we can yell Hosanna because Jesus is our risen king. All right, we're going to go back to our very first activity. Do you guys remember what we were counting? Yeah, we were counting hearts. So I want you to make a heart with your hand, just like this. Perfect. So today we learned that some people's feelings about Jesus changed from the time he entered Jerusalem until he was placed on the cross. The same people that were saying, Hosanna, praise him, were some of the same people that actually said, crucify him and put him on the cross to die. Remember that Jesus knew that he was going to die on the cross for our sins. And even though people put him on the cross to die, Jesus chose to die. Hmm. He's big and powerful, so he's God. So if he wanted to get down off the cross and not die, he, he didn't have to. He could have done that. But he chose to die. Why, why would someone choose to do that? Hmm. It all goes back to this. I want you to make your heart again. It's because Jesus loves you. He loves all of us. He loves the whole world. And he knew the only way that he could be friends with us again is if he died for our sins. Because our sins make us so we're not friends with God anymore. And we all have sinned. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means you've sinned. That means I've sinned. And that means that we need Jesus. We need Jesus to forgive our sins. And he loves us, so he did that for us. And he didn't just die and then forgive our sins and stay dead. But we know from our memory verse that he is not here in the tomb anymore. He has risen. He's alive. And that's why we say Hosanna. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning for Kids Own Preschool. 
I want you guys to know that there is some special resources on our UDAC website. Um, if you guys go check it out, we have added now a worship song so you guys can um, do some dancing and some worshiping and some of them are old day camp songs so you might recognize some of them. So we'll be adding a song each week for you to praise Jesus in your living room and with your family all together. Um, but it was so good to hang out with you guys today um, and we will see you next week for Easter. Bye! Thank you.